this is a new type of video for me. If you're not familiar with what I do, that's fine. But the reason you clicked on the link is one of two reasons. A, you're already subscribed, a few of you, or you've seen this video thing in the thumbnail and you want to know how to make it. This isn't a video I was planning on, but due to the high demand of people that have been asking me how I did this since I posted it on Instagram, I thought I'd break it down in a tutorial. So now that you know that, I don't take credit for coming up with this video. It's something that I've seen on Instagram, but this is a basic one just stepping over the house. So what we need to do is first get a shot from a tripod, set up on the street, take a big step over the house, and then from there, we're gonna bring it into DaVinci Resolve, and that's where the fun starts to happen. Right click on the clip and select new fusion clip and then select the fusion page at the bottom. I like to move my nodes into the middle of the screen when working so just drag a box around them both and move it to where suits. Select the polygon tool. This needs to be disconnected so just click on the pipe linking the two nodes and then reconnect the media in to the media out. Select the polygon tool and then I'm going to find a frame in the image where I'm no longer in shot and start tracing the outline of the area that I want to stand behind. This is very rough as I've already done this the first time, so this is just to give you the idea of what needs to be done. Complete the mask and take it back to the beginning to complete the loop. And then I connected the media in and then inverted the selection on the inspector panel on the right hand side of the screen. Now we're left with a transparent part to my image. From here I copy and pasted my media in and then hit shift and space bar to add a time speed. Drag a new line from the output of the speed node and connect it to the media in and this should automatically generate a merge node. I set this to zero in the inspector panel on the right side and this gave me a still image in front that now does not move. Copy and paste again the media in and connect it via another merge node. I then selected the polygon tool and brought it over to the media in. This time I traced around my leg and foot, so I picked a frame that was easy for me to work with and cut out of my leg. From here, my leg may disappear, so just Shift and T to alter the yellow and the green on the merge node. For this on merge 2, I wanted the image to come in on the green and the other merge node to come in on the yellow. From here, I went through the clip one frame at a time, changing the mass so it stuck to my leg the whole way through. This can be done also in the color tab with the use of the magic mask tool, but not in this video. So I'm just tweaking the mask only to come into the screen when needed. I draw a mask around all the points allowing me to move them in one go when needed. When the back leg comes over we need the shadow to reappear on the ground, so I just stretched the mask to mirror the movement of my leg so it looked like the shadow was being cast as it came over the house. There are some parts still need to be tweaked where I can still see the house behind me, but it's starting to look good. However, I do run out of the mask, so I selected the first polygon mask I laid down and extended it to include me as I ran to the left of the screen. Then back to my leg mask to cover me while I ran also, as I play this back, you can see the mesh changes through the video for what I need it to do. So back in the edit page, play through the clip that we get something like this. Not bad, a little rough around the edges, but you get the idea, and where to spend more time if you recreate this effect. Of course, this technique is used for many different applications. So thank you for sticking with me while I've done my very, very first tutorial. I might do some more in the future if I ever get asked for them. I might just do them anyway because I quite enjoy doing this video, but I will up my quality of production. Other than that, I hope it was useful. I hope those six of you that did ask actually get around to watching this video at some point. Other than that, I'm done. I'm gonna go and make my normal type of videos from now on. One more thing tomorrow, or it might already be.